What's up guys, I want to show you something really cool today, but first we're going to go check out Car Show. So the car show was really cool and it got me thinking about how how cars work. I mean, you know, you jump in your car every day and you, you throw it in drive and you take off, but you never really stop to think about the science behind what's actually causing your car to go. Now while there is a lot of physics involved in the rotational motion of the wheels and the transmission and transfer cases and all kinds of crazy things, at the root of it all, it all boils down to a simple chemical reaction. So I thought maybe today we'd explore that little chemical reaction. So the chemical reaction that actually takes place inside of your car's engine that causes your car to be able to move is what we call combustion reaction. And today I'm going to show you how we can recreate the combustion reaction that takes place inside your car's engine. So we need some kind of a container and in this case I'm going to use just a small little pill bottle here. It's got a removable cap and I think that should be sufficient for what we need. Now we also need a source of ignition and this is just a little striker from a barbecue grill lighter. And in addition we'll need some fuel. This is just some rubbing alcohol. 91%. Got the good stuff. Alright, so with our container I'm going to use a little thumbtack because I don't want to get too crazy here. And I'm just going to poke a little hole through the bottom. This is kind of tricky, but that's okay because you're not going to try this at home, right? All right, so the idea is that if we put just a drop of alcohol in here, that shouldn't take very much. Put the cap on it, and we're gonna roll that around. 
We want alcohol vapors and not actual liquid alcohol. Might even shake it a little bit. Then, if we squeeze our barbecue igniter, we might <laughs> get a nice little explosion. <laughs> that was great. Now let's talk a little bit about the internal combustion engine of your car. Uh, there are multiple parts to that. There's obviously the chamber or what we call the cylinder. You also have a spark plug in there which is what creates the spark. Another piece that you have inside of your engine is a piston. Now we simulated a piston for this combustion chamber by using the lid just so that you could see that it does provide a force in, in that outward direction. Now in your car's engine, that piston absorbs that force and it's, it's actually pushed down uh, where it's connected to a, a crankshaft. That crankshaft spins uh, from the force of the pistons being pushed down by the combustion reaction that happens in the car. That crankshaft that's turning then is essentially the power that's translated to your wheels. So now just remember, every time you jump in your car and take off, there are hundreds of those explosions happening every minute. You're driving a car that's constantly exploding. Uh, it's just kind of a weird spin to put on. I don't, it, well, it was, yeah. All right, so I'd say that's pretty awesome. Ugh. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was pretty fun going to check out the car show and recreating just a combustion cylinder from some pretty simple things at home. I mean, it doesn't get any more basic. Gosh, dang it. Anyway, it doesn't get any more basic than that, but super fun nonetheless. There's legit sirens outside right now. I really hope they're not looking for me for that. Surely not, right? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was super fun making that little combustion chamber out of an old barbecue lighter and a, and a little bottle. I mean, who would have thought? Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys being here and coming back week after week to check it out. Make sure you head on over to my Facebook page if you haven't already and give me a like over there. Don't forget to like up this video, click that little subscribe button if you haven't already, and uh, go get yourself a new Science Pirate t-shirt. That's right, it's a thing. And I'll show you next week what they look like. It's on the way, what can I say? It, it's just not gotten here yet. So I'll show you guys. They're pretty cool. Anyway, you can go check that out in the link in the description down below. All right, so yeah, that was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Aside from that, I'll catch you guys next time. All right, now, Hang on, there's one other thing I want to try.